Hey, what is up, Swanky? This is just way back again. Swanky Swag with another trailer reaction video. You know, you know. Been doing quite a bit of those. Don't worry. The content will change soon. Just a little warning right now. <laughs> no, but yeah. On um, this Thor Love and Thunder, the final trailer, I would like to assume because it's coming out in one or two weeks. Marvel wow, Studios, Thor Love and Thunder team. So yeah, one minute and 20 seconds. Not much to react to, but you know, it's enough. It's enough for the video. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, don't forget to check out my Instagram down below, you know, go look and follow me over there, you know, you can try and get to 100 followers, 200 maybe, you know, and, um, yeah, um, with that being said, again, <laughs> let's get right into the video. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sweet child of mine, of course, of course. Oh my God. I know I already paused, but can we just appreciate how cool Gora looks like amazing, amazing. I have a little theory that I think I mentioned in my last reaction to the trailer, but I'll say it after, I'll say it after. Yes. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Yo, they're Celestials. What the fuck? Already just 12 seconds in. What the? I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to process this. Okay. We have two Celestials in the... I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure they're not going to literally have nothing to do with the story. There's going to be like a little cameo. I feel like a lot of gods are going to be in this um, movie, but not really anything to the storyline. They're not going to have anything to do with that. Maybe die. I don't know if they're going to die. But yeah, wow. Interesting. He's my best friend. Best friend <laughs> so he's naming off the whole team. Wonderful. They also scream quite a lot. All right, guys. That's the thumbnail, guys. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> I said it was going to be like a relaxing holiday. <laughs> Human handshake. Human handshake to that Asgardian handshake. Oh, oh. Into the snake that you cannot trust. Really Loki. dragging this out and finish the classic Asgardian high one. Tickets on sale now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just so I won't, you know, fail to get tickets, I might need to buy some soon. I might need to buy some soon. July 8th. That should be in a week or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're um 24th, 23rd right now. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well damn, let me just start off by saying celestials i don't even know what to say about that because from what we know they don't like being they're not really all they really do is kill planets yeah and or harvest them if that makes sense the only other celestial we've seen fight i have yeah, two two if i'm correct um the villain from eternals and ego all right guys look at this dumbass right here Pulling, pulling, pushing his glasses in and everything. Yeah, I just realized that the villain from Eternals is a deviant, not a celestial. So my bad. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Again, I think it's just gonna be something. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's gonna either go two ways. They help around Asgard, not a big role, but you know they're there. Or two, they're just there to show that oh yeah, celestials aren't that much big of a deal anymore, which I highly doubt and I hope. Like I said, I hope that's not true. Again, I just feel like a lot of gods are just going to be making cameos or just going around as that's kind of what this movie seems to be about. Gore is the god butcher. He kills gods. I don't think he's killing Celestial since that's something else, but you know. Yeah. Now the team. 
I wonder if they're just saying that just for the sake of the trailer. But at first, I didn't think this. I, thought I was. I. I I don't think I included it in the last trailer reaction, but I think that I, I thought that the Guardians was going to be for like a good five minutes, you know, in the beginning and if needed towards the end. But I'm going to be honest, it looks like they're going to be here for most of the movie. We see Groot still in his teen stage, but we already know for those who don't in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Not the special, but Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Groot is going to be Omega Groot, Alpha Groot. Big root, not not the. Oh, well, I'm not big, so sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, not not even bigger than his first appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna get new members of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the next movie. But again, this isn't Guardians of the Galaxy. We're just you know, Thor's gonna get help from them. It'd be nice to see Loki help, but we all know why that's not happening. Anyways, but yeah, honestly, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I don't see any way this movie could go wrong, but here's my one theory though. I think this isn't going to be Gore's last time we see him because we see a lot of one and done villains. Not so much Vulture, but we see Killmonger, we see Iron Mongol, we see, well, actually, for, for, the, for that matter, all the Iron Man villains. Um, all Captain America villains except for Zemo. They're all one in the villains. They're made for the movie and dip. And I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of why they get such good actors. If that makes sense. I don't know what that does. <laughs> but yeah. When it, and when it comes to Christian Bale. I don't know. I don't know, man. He's an amazing actor. Was Batman with many other roles. But my point being here, I'm waffling a little too much now. I think that... Gore's actually going to win this fight. It's going to be like a little Thanos type situation, you know what I mean? Because, I'll be honest, I think he even beats Thanos. But my, that's again, not the point here. The point is, I think they're going to do their hardest. I think by the end of the movie, Thor's not going to die. Even though a lot of people are theorizing that. I don't think he's going to die. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, guys. He's not going to die. Um, He's going to stay as Thor. And Mighty Thor, Jane Foster... I think she's going to stay as Mighty Thor, maybe join the Avengers in a later movie, or she just stops being Thor by the end of the movie. I don't think Thor's handling his mantle down, and if he is, he's handling down, he's handing his mantle to her, but not because he's dying, or he's just retiring, you know, he's going to experience himself like life. It's kind of what he's doing in the movie, that's why it looks of it. It looks like he's traveling around the universe. Well, yeah. And again, Gore. I think he's going to kill Valkyrie, I don't know why. Don't, don't, don't tell me, you know. It's just a theory, just a theory, just a little theory. I think he's winning this fight by the end of the movie. I think he's going to be a villain and maybe, maybe not Thor 5. That would be a little expensive, <laughs> Ex extensive. Which, hey, man, I'm not complaining if it happens, but, but. I'm just saying, guys, I don't think Gore is done here by the end of the movie. Because he's too good of a villain to just be a one movie villain. If he's not in the next Thor movie, if there is another Thor movie. He's either going to be in a Guardian type of movie, in a movie where Thor is going to be there. And then, yeah. Avengers, who knows? But yeah, that's my little theory. Valkyrie might die, maybe not. And as for the rest, I don't think Jane's dying, but I could see her getting injured along with Thor. But like something happens that does require him to retire and wants him to travel the universe again, you know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are your guys' theories? What do you think of this new team Thor has made? You know, the re new Revengers, new Revengers. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to, like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram down below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, it's your boy, Swing Second. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.